push this power button and as you can see there's nothing coming on the screen it's just a total blackout screen there is power here there is power here and you can see there is charging indication as well but the screen is totally black so I found out uh, the reason might be for this is the RAM there must be something wrong with the RAM so I'm gonna inspect the RAM I'm I have taken out the L-shaped casing at the back of my laptop I've taken it out already just one two and three screws I'm just gonna keep it aside as you can see this is my hard drive so I'm not gonna do anything with my hard drive and this is my RAM so this is my DDR3 RAM this is uh, one slot and this is the second slot so I'm gonna uh, pull out both the RAMs out let me see which one has the problem so I'm gonna just push these two to the side and then the RAM just pops out simple as that so I'm gonna keep one RAM here this is the first RAM I removed the second one I'm just gonna pop, pop that as well yeah simple as that so I've got two RAMs so the problem might be with the either one of these two RAMs or maybe the slots so first what I'm gonna do is so this is the uh, first RAM that I've removed that's my DDR3 as you can see DDR3 4GB RAM and this is the second RAM I removed so the first thing is I'm gonna put this RAM on the first slot yeah and check if this is working I'm just gonna push it in all good and then I'm gonna start my computer and see if it's working so I've turned down you can see the power so still I'm getting the black screen so that's that's the first RAM slot that I've tried it on so I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna pop the RAM out pop the RAM out and I'm gonna try the second slot so because the problem might be with the first slot of the RAM so I'm gonna just try the second slot just push it in and then all the way through then again turn the PC on to see if it's working the power is coming it's all good here and still the computer is having the black screen it's totally black so either my my the RAM should be the problem so still I can't tell you which is the problem until I try my next RAM so I'm gonna turn off my computer turned off and then so this RAM has not been working with the first slot and the second slot so I'm taking out my RAM so this is the one which is not working and I'm gonna try the second RAM on the first slot push it in push it down push the power button and see if it's working see as you can see the computer is turning on so which means that I have a problem with uh, I have a problem with this RAM so this needs a replacement I tried cleaning up cleaning it with the with my brush I used an eraser I tried all my I never put a liquid on onto it because it's a circuit I don't want to damage it but I think this is the problem so I need a replacement of a DDR3 RAM so the computer as you can see the computer is totally fine the computer is working and it's, it's all good so the simple fix the simple fix is that you need to just check the RAM so if the RAM might be the problem so so that's simple as that and thank you for watching guys and do subscribe and thank you very much